Defeatism is overwhelming Russian ultra-patriots after two and a half years of war. The famous Z-War correspondent, member of the so-called Club of Angry Patriots, Maxim Kalashnikov, publicly predicts Russia's collapse because of the SVO. Kalashnikov speaks very boldly about the highest military political leadership of Russia, stating the collapse of the system of state governance. He expressed such confidence that with such leaders it will not be possible to win the war. Where have we ended up? Is there a future in this war? I look at what is happening and, you know, the winners in war do not look like this. There is one reason that is leading the military actions to a positional dead end. This is the collapse of the state governance system in the country. A stream of simply black news negativity. We just saw strikes on the arsenals in Toropets. There was a strike in Tikhoretsk. Also an ammunition. Everyone is already discussing the unsuccessful launch of our Samat missile. Well, and there is enough of everything else. This shooting in Moscow, the open conflict between the Kadyrov and Kerimov clans. You yourself understand that the North Caucasus can vibrate there. This is the death of Ernest and Goodwin. People are demoralized. Where to go to the army if you are zeroed out there? All this begins with a breakthrough of the Ukrainian armed forces to Kursk. Or even with the sinking of a cruiser, Moscow, from the failures of 2022. It reminds me not of victory, but of a series of catastrophes and failures that began in the Soviet Union in 1986. Complete déjà vu, Kalashnikov said. He added that Russia was facing a crisis of governance as a result of negative personnel selection in Russia's top leadership. With such a state apparatus, wars are not won. The state system is becoming a collective moron. What follows may simply be disintegration. Either the government makes very significant, non-trivial efforts to win, or we will have to prepare for the worst, the Z propagandist declared. And the worst thing, according to his version, is internal riots in Russia with the further disintegration of the country into parts. Human-caused climate change doubled the likelihood and intensified the heavy rains that led to devastating flooding in Central Europe earlier this month a new flash study found. Torrential rain in mid-September from Storm Boris pummeled a large part of Central Europe, including Romania, Poland, Czechia, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia and Germany, and caused widespread damage. The floods killed 24 people, damaged bridges, submerged cars, left towns without power and in need of significant infrastructure repairs. The severe four-day rainfall was, by far, the heaviest ever recorded in Central Europe and twice as likely because of warming from the burning of coal, oil and natural gas, World Weather Attribution, a collection of scientists that run rapid climate attribution studies, said Wednesday from Europe. Climate change also made the rains between 7% and 20% more intense, the study found. To test the influence of human-caused climate change, the team of scientists analyzed weather data and used climate models to compare how such events have changed since cooler pre-industrial times to today. Such models simulate a world without the current 1.3 degrees Celsius of global warming since pre-industrial times, and see how likely a rainfall event that severe would be in such a world. The study analyzed four-day rainfall events, focusing on the countries that felt severe impacts. Though the rapid study hasn't been peer-reviewed, it follows scientifically accepted techniques. In any climate, you would expect to occasionally see records broken, said Friedrich Otto, an Imperial College, London, climate scientist who coordinates the attribution study team. But, to see records being broken by such large margins, that is really the fingerprint of climate change. And that is only something that we see in a warming world. Some of the most severe impacts were felt in the Polish-Czech border region and Austria, mainly in urban areas along major rivers. The study noted that the death toll from this month's flooding was considerably lower than during catastrophic floods in the region in 1997 and 2002. Still, infrastructure and emergency management systems were overwhelmed in many cases and will require billions of euros to fix. The World Weather Attribution Group launched in 2015 largely due to frustration that it took so long to determine whether climate change was behind an extreme weather event. Studies like theirs, within attribution science, 
use real-world weather observations and computer modeling to determine the likelihood of a particular happening before and after climate change, and whether global warming affected its intensity. In this study, we looked at how human-induced climate change, um, so caused by the burning of oil, coal, and gas, um, has increased the likelihood and intensity of the rainfall that caused these floods. And we found that um, climate change approximately doubled the likelihood of such an event to occur, and that the intensity increased by something between 7 and 20%. Ja chcem ísť pobeť do stupavy, lebo tam ten kaštiel je vraj, že úplne zaplavený.